Hello everyone, this is Kesa from GrabCat. I'm the community manager and I'm here to teach you how to get OBJ files into VRML format using Blender. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to import our model that we currently have. So we're going to go to OBJ and what I currently have is a car model that I found online. So we're going to let this load in for a second. It's going to take a couple minutes for it to actually load in the whole model. It's a pretty big file, so it should be taking a bit. Okay, there we go. So this is the model that we currently have. So we're going to scale this down because it is a really huge file, especially when you look at the grid. All right, so this is our model. Now, for, for most of you guys, you probably do not have the VRML plugin on with your version of Blender. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your user preferences, go to add-ons, type in VR, ML, and then you're going to make sure that both of these are checked because you won't be able to export anything through VRML if you do not have these checked. All right, so you check those both and you save your user settings. When you close it, and you can have just one thing selected. If you have all of your meshes currently selected, it will not export in VRML. So you gotta make sure that you have just one part selected and it will be just fine. So we go to export, we look at VRML2, and then we can just export it out as Mustang. So do that. And that's it. Now it should be exported to VRML. So now we're gonna switch over to GrabCAD print. And we're going to see if we can uh, import that model. All right, so now we're in GrabCAD print. So what we're going to do first, we're going to add the models. So this is our VRML file right here. So we're going to hit that open button. And then we're going to let GrabCAD print start to insert the files. And it's going to start reading everything and make sure um, the meshes are OK. And see if, we, uh, see if it's going to get into there. Now, don't mind the orientation. Sometimes the orientation might come out completely wrong. But you can always fix, fix that with the orient tool right here. And grab cat print all right so now our model is completely in grab cat print so now what we're gonna do just to make sure that it's completely oriented correctly so you go into the orient tool right here and you will just hit this button and now your model is in grab cat print fully rendered ready to go so you can print to any of your stratus j750 3d printers or any of your stratus 3d printers you can move it around the tray and scale it up to any percent that you need. So you can even uniform scale it so it all ties together. So if you want to scale it up to maybe, I don't know, 500%, you can do that if you want to. So make sure that your model fits in the tray and you'll be 100% ready to go and ready to print. All right, thank you so much everyone for watching the video. If you have any comments or questions, don't be afraid to let us know in the comment section below. And don't be afraid to hit us up at grabcad.com. Thank you so much, everyone. You have a great day.